What's up, everybody? Welcome on into episode or episode game number 70 of this here Mariners MLB season in MLB The Show 22. Uh, my name is Sean. This series posts every single day at 7 p.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. So be sure to scroll down if you haven't already and subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff, and you'll be notified when I post new videos right here on the channel today. We are game number. We are in game number seventy. I did not make a single game sixty nine joke last time. Huge missed opportunity, and then had one of the wildest games that I have had this season. Maybe the entirety of this series that I've done, uh, including last year, coming back from five runs down at the bottom of the ninth and getting a, a walk off uh, win in the tenth. Absolutely bizarre. Don't know how I did it. Don't know what happened. Going back to that game really quickly. There was a weird play in one of the innings, I forget exactly which one, where Minnesota ended up scoring a couple of runs. Um, it turns out I, uh, Minnesota ended up scoring a, core, a few runs. There was a key play before that, though, that instead of having first and second with whatever the number of outs was, it was second and third with whatever the number of outs was because the ball slithered through uh, between the starting pitcher, who I forget who it was, uh, I think it was Gonzalez, and Ty France. It just kind of like, like whooped right through. Turns out I was actually controlling Ty France. I just took a terrible path to the ball. Um, I don't know what happened. Sometimes I think the game gives you weird, like per people to control. Um, like it just, it just doesn't make sense. Like it just picks the wrong person. Uh, but I, I definitely, I undercut it way too much. And I just took a poor angle and it slipped through. Um, yeah, I was actually surprised. I thought I had Sheffield or not Sheffield. Sorry. Uh, I thought I had, the I thought I had control of the pitcher, and I just didn't, and that was uh that was weird, that was a weird play. Didn't matter in the end though because we did end up winning, and we ended up winning that series. Today we open up a series against the Los Angeles Angels. It's a big long four game series. My headset's apparently already going to die. We are thirty nine and thirty. We're five games ahead of them, a game ahead of the Houston Astros. The Athletics and Rangers are pretty quickly falling out of it um, down in fourth and fifth. And then we will actually see the Oakland Athletics and then the Angels um, really quickly, like back to back. Come on. I got to get a better, better cord for that. Uh, but either way, four game set against the Angels starts today. And it's Griffin Canning with a 5-3, and 3-7-2, three, three, taking on Justice Sheffield, who's 3-6 and six with a 4-3-8 ERA. So not uh, the best pitching matchup in the world, but that is okay. T-Mobile, Justice Sheffield. All right. We got uh, we were probably going to have to make some changes here. We have a right-handed pitcher here. So maybe switching out. Oh, boy. Uh, who, do, who do we have? Dom T. Williams in to right field. Actually, we'll go Dom T. Williams, DH. Uh, we'll put him up here at the top. Let's get this kind of set the way I want it. Frazier. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Got a double righty there at the bottom, a double lefty at the top. Okay. Who, who needs rest the most? Frazier. Ty France, actually. So we can actually, we'll just flip that right there. He has a lot better power against right-handed guys anyway. So that's an easy switch, and we get a little bit of a speed build towards the end. So that's good. This is a much quicker lineup already. Um, so that helps. Who else? Who do we have here? Sam Haggerty. Sam... Haggerty. Now, unfortunately, I have two primary second basemen. Or, like, three primary second basemen. That sucks. But Haggerty has come through so big in the last... In two of his last three... Or two of the last three games, last two games he's been in, that it's tempting to just put him in anyway. And he's a switch hitter with tremendous speed. Hmm. 
there's not really a great spot to put him. I don't know that I really even have a spot to put him. I could honestly just put him at second. Haggerty here and then Crawford. Not Crawford's usual spot, but like 89, 81, 74 speed. Give a couple of guys some rest. It is really unfortunate that I have three primary second basemen. I still have like a great, let's see. Center field. Who's in left? Fraley. Okay, I think that'll work for today. We'll get a couple of guys rested. We'll get one of the hot bats. Uh, hot bats in the lineup with um, with Haggerty, who's a switch hitter, and that helps out a little bit. We'll have two double rights. Oh, probably a triple left. I may have wanted, maybe should have flipped like the seven and eight spot, just so it's not quite as like chunked like that. Park here in Seattle. The show but that's okay. Game one of a big four game set. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Seattle Mariners. And now, first pitch your coming your way 2022 next. 2022 Seattle Mariner. Just about set to go. Just a Sheffield on the mound today. 13 starts, a 3 and 6 record, a 438 ERA, 86.1 innings pitched, 103 hits given up. 25 strikeouts when you take those two walks, you get that 1.22, I believe it was. With a lot more success on the road this season. The second baseman, David Fletcher. We are down back at Legend Difficulty. That Minnesota Twins series was not a great series. Um, we were able to take two of three from, from them, which is a little surprising. Especially the way we won those two games, scoring 10 runs in that first game, scoring, I think it was 7-6 the final in that, that, uh, that third game. Um... Yeah, they gave me they gave me some fits, uh, and I was worried about that going into that series. On the ground, sneaks through, base hit. Damn, so that sucks. Really nice right. job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too Tyler. much with the pitch. Just really? shot it through. The I thought end. maybe Haggerty could get now there, but it's a little bit too quick. That was a really bad pitch. Uh, so we'll have to deal with Mike Trout. We'll have to deal with Shohei Otani. Those are the big names, the big bats in this in this lineup. So see how that goes. I'd be actually a little surprised if we don't see Otani as a starting pitcher in this series. But you never know. Ooh, Fraley took a weird step to his right. Here comes the runner. In not a bad relay. Lead. Not a bad relay. Well done. Drives in the run. That Just a good. great approach. It looked like that was exactly yeah. what he wanted to do with Mike. that pitch. And right off the bat, I have really struggled with the fastball lately. Ever since that Boston series, basically like this whole homestand, I've been giving up a lot of solid contact and like home runs, which I guess would be kind of like a synonym of solid contact but I've the, the point is, is I've really struggled with the Mike Trout, just a um, player, a special human. the the Does fastball the four seam fastball has not been my friend lately as well off the field. In the center, I don't Lewis. know that Lewis is going to be able to horse. get to this and, it drops for a hit. and they get it in quickly first and third now with nobody out hmm. hitting is really easy for is that that's another okay that was a slider bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even when you don't get... that's a base hit run scores I don't think that was uh, all that bad of a pitch there. Just a, just a hit that beat everything I was trying to do defensively. 
So up next, Jared That's a slider Walsh. outside. Really He's got 98 power right to the left side. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. First pitch, and he just misses. So we are off to a very bad start here. It's the top of the first inning. We have nobody out. Next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. In the air out to center. Lewis gets under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Okay. Double play. We can get out of this inning. Mitigate the damage. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to want. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Line, and that's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's three zip. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Picks himself up in RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch. You I have no answers right now. Now, after this four-game set, we do have a day off. So do I just say fuck it and bring in... First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bring in a... Uh, bring in a starter. Here the inning. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one on the first double play. And what a disaster a start to this game. My goodness. It's the Angels three and the okay. We're not going to be able to get it all back at once, so just got to try and get some contact on it here and chip away at this lead. If we can have a better second inning, I'll feel a little more confident going into uh, the rest of this game. Griffin Canning, he has a winning record at 5-3. and three. I may have misspoke earlier. 12 starts with a 3.72 ERA, 65.1 innings pitched, 51 hits and 36 walks is a 1.33 whip, and 59 strikeouts. Bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do. In this Four seam at 96, a slider at 91, circle change at 90, and a curveball at 84. Sam Haggerty stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Have not been great in series openers lately. Not right. unfortunately. Ward settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting second. And now for Seattle, Dom Thompson Williams. Thompson Williams having a really nice first season in the big leagues. Definitely a rookie of the year candidate. Dom T. Williams has been making an instant impact since he came up. There's a swing and a drive. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here, Dom T. Williams. Thank you, man. Hell yeah, let's get let's get back in this game. It's 3-1. Not all back at once, but that's okay. Chip away. Chip away. Stay calm. Good take on the first fastball. Got enough power. That's why I love having Dom T. Williams in that opening spot. He has good power against righties and lefties. Um, I haven't quite figured out. I haven't unlocked a consistent home run threat with him. However, he's been on base enough and he has enough speed that that doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Interestingly enough, uh, did not give up a home run. Just a lot of bloop shots and singles and doubles that were able to... Oh, that was a miss. That should have been a home run. That's our time. Oh, 
Okay, I'm all right with that one. I'm all right taking that one. That second pitch, though, that's a big miss. Next one in the dirt. I feel like I've accidentally figured out the check swing, but I'm not consistent enough with it. Ooh, he blew it right by me. That was a terrible swing. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that. Oh, that was a bad swing. Gets under and pops it up. And that's the third out. Okay, so we do get the one home run with Dom T. Williams, a waste with two of our better bats in the lineup. We're at least able to get on the board, have a positive start to the game. Definitely two terrible swings to end that. Uh, end that. that should have been a 3-2 count with uh, now it's the right fielder, with Lewis, and then there's no reason to swing on the first pitch like that with and the pitch. Um, he needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Hanniger. Through a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. Fires over to first. Yeah. One up, one down. Good Better start, start already. Right there. Batter fighting to get there just rolled over it. Yeah, ground ball. Yeah. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can 22. handle. Second base. So digging in, David, David Fletcher. Fletcher. In there. there we First go. Nice little sinker there on the, uh, the game has moved along. Yeah. We see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpire. Bottom of the zone. Clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys. Oh, Crawford just couldn't quite get there. That's all right. That's all right. And as well, hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Now batting. Tyler Four's Wade, not. the next to hit Tyler. for the Angels. Really, really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Toro, 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 Toro. There we go. Okay. Good job there to hold it out. Just kind of gave up one more hit, but that's no big deal. Got to try and get a little bit of length out of this arm. It is tempting to bring in a starter if we give up too much, too many more, uh, too many more runs or too many more hits because I don't really want to damage the bullpen that bad. Out to center. And it's caught for the out. Batting Abraham three. Toro the up next for the man. Mariners. Abraham Toro. Next pitch downstairs. 1 and 0. Oh. Next offering is in for a That's strike. Fine. I mean, I'd assume he'd be throwing a little bit higher in the zone. His primary is a four seam. Next pitch is popped up. Ooh. Brings it in. And Damn it. Got the left fielder, no Jake left Fraley. Fraley. Yeah. That Big one. swing on that curveball. Don't love it, but that's okay. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing puts you right back in this ballgame. Next offering is way upstairs. Next one is off the play. Three and one now. Left-hand batter waits. And that's ball four. Ooh, okay. All right. I thought that was going to be strike two, but then there was a slider that dove inside. It's been part of his career okay. since day one. McKenzie. Two outs, runner at first. Tom Murphy. Murphy, the next to hit. That one's in there, 0-1. Okay. 
Okay. Disagree with that being a strike, but all right. The next offering misses. And the count one and two. Got to watch for the back-to-back -back slider here. Not sure where to look. Next offering way off okay. the plate. Was back-to-back -back sliders. Fraley, the runner at first with two gone. I mean, does he triple up on it? No, we went with the circle change. I swung right over it. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's Trout leading off for the Angels. The center fielder, Mike Sheffield, back wow. to work. This one in the air, right field. One away. Bit of a bummer the way that uh, that inning ended. Got the walk and then uh, the strikeout, not great. Big miss with uh, Crawford just swinging at the first pitch. It wasn't terrible contact. We got a fly ball, so I'm. Okay with it sounds like kind of a weird I'm a little surprised he was actually out there. Holy shit. And here is Jared Walsh. Pitch misses hmm. inside, and that's ball one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Okay. And a pitch. Good eye right there. I don't know how that was that far to the right. That doesn't make any fucking sense, but all right. You're in the box. This one smacked out to left center. Freely. Thank you, sir. Okay. Angels go down one, two, three. I, I mean, a couple of clean innings here. That's good news. Did a good job of laying off those sliders with Murphy, but just not able to do that with the other that circle change. And here it comes. Inside. It's inside. So we're, what, we're here at the bottom of the lineup, so we'll have a couple lefties coming up. We have good speed here. Up the middle. That Wait, circle change I got up. on top of it. Fuck. Plenty of time to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Up next so the lineup game. flips over. The Here's the speed game. threat. Sam Haggerty. 0 for 1 so Haggerty. far. That hits the dirt, and it's one to know. Next pitch is outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. No, no, no. Son of a bitch. Fuck, what a terrible swing on a 2-0 count. Come on. I got to be better than that. Up next for the Mariners. Thompson, yeah, the first offering is not close. Oh, that ball oh. got him pretty good out there in the mound. Sends it to Walsh. That's the third out. Mariners go down quietly there, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Positives through the first third of this game. Improved on the defensive side. We've had a couple clean innings. Negatives. Inning. I only have the one home run, and I have not done anything else. Not a single hit other than that. I was going to say base runner, but then I realized that we had a we had a walk. We are a bloop and a blast away, and we have the power to do it. I just don't know that I have the ability to do it. We saw that with the Minnesota series. Several bases loaded opportunities and I was not able to drive in any runs. Makes the grab one down. 
Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Grabs it right, right off the wall. The wall. Whew. That was a little dicey. Thank you, Jake Fraley. Taylor Ward digs in now. Really struggling with these fastballs. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. The next pitch misses. Hmm. And the count a little surprised it pulled it that low, but all right. Slowly on the ground to short. Crawford picks it up, and that'll do Ooh. it. Wasn't and sure. That was such a slow goal. roller. I wasn't sure that was going to uh, get to get an out. All right. Lewis Hanniger Crawford. We can do it. We can, we we have good bats here. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the center fielder. Kyle and Lewis. we missed with that that second Pitch. four seam fastball. Back to the mound. Lays out. He's got it. He's not gonna get it. Okay. All right. Really lucky hit there. Really really lucky. Oh, just an awful sight down there on the field. Tyler Wade has suffered a very serious ankle injury, even a season ender. Oh no. Number five, he's forced into the game at shortstop due to the injury. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Now batting. In there and it's on one. Hanniger. Lewis on at first, nobody out. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Got him looking. Ooh. One out in the bottom of the fourth. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating okay. for this guy. He All right. He strike zone extremely mm. well. And you know what? Good hitters <laughs> are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch oh, out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now the batter now, J.P. Crawford. Yeah. First offering misses badly for ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. Pitch misses. All right, here we go, Crawford. Here we go. Got to be wary of the high fastball. Clearly trying to get that ground ball double play, but in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Rendon makes the grab. Okay, at it's least I'm not giving two. up the double no, play. A, a strikeout I don't necessarily agree with. We have had a couple of pitches right that have been on the corner you, like that that have not been be called strikes. With himself oh. until his next, at bat. next to hit, Abraham Toro. Good power. Not great in the OBP but. department. We're, we're doing what most zone. teams do to me, where they have a runner on first and they are on first for the rest of the inning. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets out. Mm -hmm. Tying run at the plate. And it's fouled away. I guess late on that. Yeah. And the 2 2. Okay, foul lucky to just get a piece alive. of that one and stay alive. Come on. 2 2. Next there we go. Okay, that would have been a walk, but that's all right. Fraley's on deck. He has power. And there's ball four. Well, interesting. He there we go. Good walk. Good walk. Fraley's already he seen a walk. Now at the plate. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Rip to the left center base hit. Runner around third. He's Jake Fraley. Hell yeah. We're getting right back in this game, folks. 
Get right back in this game, everybody. Ooh, here we go. Too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days. Right, what? That is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to get a run in. Just like that. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. So here's Murphy now. He struck out swinging in his first. No! Oh no! But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's oh, I don't, I don't know if it would have got him all the way in, but fuck. It was perfect contact. It was a power swing. I was hoping to drive something deep out there. We had good speed. Fuck. Oh, a play at the hot base. Shit. Back at Park. All right, that's all right. Look at that. We're, we're battling back in. Pepper in some runs. One run here. One run there. Another run later. A fourth run to win the game. There you go. Look at that. Easy peasy. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. And a girl. Right Oops, I took the wrong path hit. there. Oh, you know what I should have done was I should have switched the DH and Hanniger. That's, I think, the thing that I, I forgot to do or, or missed. I thought that actually got past him. Out, out, out. Whew. Okay. Didn't think it was going to get him. It wasn't a great throw. Come on. Bang. Two gone. Just like that. Base is clear. Everything's good. Oh, is tonight game five of the finals? In there for strike one. Speaking of Mike Breen and his bang. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And out of here. Hmm. Uh, not 100% sure what I did wrong there. It, it felt like a pretty okay pitch. What was what was the pitch? And pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake God, that, like okay, that. maybe it wasn't right a good there, pitch. He made him pay. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. And first off, I'm not aiming that high. Why is my next offering is in for a strike. Wow, got him looking. Okay. All right, so we give up the solo home run. That's okay. We're still, I mean, still in this game. Unfortunate person to give up a solo home run too. Doesn't have a ton of uh, power, but that's all right. Fuck, that actually really sucks. Battled back in this game. Still, obviously, tons of time. So. Now, Evan White for the Mariners. The pitch. The first baseman. Evan. That one off the mark, and that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One one now. Swing and a miss. Ooh, 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 ooh. Clearly, was sitting on a fastball right there, and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes. Everything's outside. Drive damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Up next to Seattle. The second base. Here's the Seattle Sam. leadoff man. Sam Haggerty. Haggerty. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering upstairs. And a foul ball. That's a that's a missed pitch right there. That's outside. Three one. Okay, there we go. There we go. Least fouling it off. And the righty deals. 
And he walked him. All right. I'll bring up Dom T. Williams here. T. Williams, one for two. Dom Thompson Williams up next for the Mariners. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. And he swings. I wanted it. I wanted it. I saw it. I thought it was a circle change. I was hoping he'd leave it high. Next offering is in for a strike. Ooh, this is not going well. The infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. They put the tag on him. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Five, <laughs> oh, my four, God. That couldn't have gone more two. inconveniently. Back here at the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Man, that is uh, that is a brutal double play right there. That with that kind of speed is likely just one, but it hit it. I hit that ball directly to him, and he was able to make the tag. Next pitch misses. One and one. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one back there. Out of here. Shohei Otani the opposite way is 14th of the year. And they add a run. It's 5-2. What is going on with the slider well, today? Fuck me. Oh, outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run. Fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop. That was a terrible slider as well. Why are you calling so many of these? You see I'm struggling with them. Murphy, please. Now the lefty grab ball up the middle. Crawford collects. Save. Didn't think it was going to get to it, so I didn't preload the throw. I think he has a chance to get him at first if he's just able to get that throw off a little quicker. Looks like he took one extra. Speed. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch misses inside. Ball one. Next one is off the plate, and a count two and one. The two one, and fouled off. Walsh gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch just misses, and the count's full. Tapped in front of the plate. Tossed to White, now one gone at the top of the sixth. Now the catcher up to hit Max Stassi. First pitch. There we go. Circle strike. change in four strike. I haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch to play. Now, I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the Ooh. infield. He drove and I play. don't have the slider today at all. Please stop calling he into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. So, I say that and immediately throw a terrible sinker. Next pitch is downstairs. In the air, out towards right center. Lewis puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags for third. It's a oh, I kind of hit the wrong button. The score, and they lead okay, so... There you go. Nice little uh -huh. RBI there. It's a great at-bat. Huh. Got well, I, obviously, the decision to throw it to first. I went for the sure out at first. I probably should have gone for second. I didn't want to come away empty-handed. Um decision kind of comes He's back to bite me and he goes back to what game. i was saying uh, not too recently where they have a, a runner on first and there's just I, I can't get the double plays off. that i need uh might have been able to get him out at home but uh sometimes the animations are a little bit weird in this game where like there probably should be a little bit more aggression from the center fielder or the whoever's running to get the ball there 
This is an absurd pitch count. That's an absurd pitch count. It's been two really bad innings the belt fires. that we've now thrown most of the pitches. Can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And that one gets away at the plate. And here's the 3 2. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Hey, thank you, Mr. Jake Fraley. Part of the order, three, four, five, coming up. We got it to three to two, and we haven't been able to come together defensively. We're still not out of this game, but it's going to take a. Oof! I'm going to take everything we've done so far times two. Now Kyle Lewis, leading off for the Mariners, can back to work. Kyle just missed. Action in the Angels bullpen. Off contact in the air. Damn Takes it. The grab one down. I thought I was looking further up in the zone. Mitch Hanniger up next the for the Mariners. Mitch Hanniger. Out towards left center. Trout is there. Damn it. It puts the squeeze on it. Fuck That's me. Two. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it the seems batter. like, within Number the third three. or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Two outs, base is empty. Crawford. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. So Ooh, that's a bad two. swing right there. Big that's hack on that fucking circle change. Gun, and it's a change up. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, really early on that curveball. That's out number three. Mariners are down in order. They still trail it here. Man, only three two. hits. I mean, I guess that's. I don't know. We've, I mean, we've had a couple of hits taken from us. We had, I had a great, I had a great piece of contact with Back Murphy Seattle, earlier in the game off, that just went to the hot pitch. corner. We had uh, a couple of hits into the field that were not enough. Um, we had one stolen at like second base. So it, it, you know. Back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence. Oh, for God's him. sake. Trust me. For fuck's sake, video game. How he does in this one. Jesus Christ. Give up a hit a fucking immediately. And here comes the Mariners manager right. to the mound. Here comes Andres Munoz. Andres Munoz. Left-handed batters are batting really well against him. That's not good. Oh, God. And that fastball was fucking terrible. And there's one away. Like going back to what I was saying in, in one of the previous innings, like there's it's it's frustrating when you like there's a, a a context to what is happening, right? So it's going to be a tag up situation, and you just have the game have the animation of like, oh, he's just going to casually run and grab it when it should be a more aggressive like, I got to run and get to this fucking ball because it it's out of my control at that point. Like I'm pushing right or left or whatever on the, the control stick and the game just goes, okay, now we're going to go ahead and slow it down for you. It's like, okay, well, it doesn't work with what I'm trying to do right now. And there was an issue in 21 as well. So most people at that position. Just really impressive because there's Man, certain I can't find the fucking the zone bat. with this guy. Automatically, that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Fletcher, the base runner at first with one out. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. That one drilled left field. It bangs off the wall. 
Got a shot at home here. Got him at the plate. Excellent relay. Good adjustment by me. I made sure to not run towards the wall. Looked at the white line that was like, hey, we'll bounce it. To get thrown out like that really throws water on the fire of a rally in this inning. Well, thank God they're up by four, huh? Otani, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Rudder at second, two down. Lined, and that's a base hit. Here comes Trout flying around third. Throw home, he beats it. And the lead is up to five. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Walsh in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The next offering misses. And a count one and two. Next Fuck me. God damn. Fucking fastball. Jesus Christ. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed. I'm not that far off. I is not that bad. Fucking piece of shit, man. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And it is gone. Jared Walsh blasts one out. And they add on. It's 9-2. Now it's Anthony Rendon. In there for strike one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and... Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's that. I don't want to fucking see it. Man, I... So digging in, Abraham Toro. First pitch, and he just it, missed. It got off to a bad start in the first inning, but we battled back, and then we've given up six runs unanswered since. Next offering is downstairs. Rip to right, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. We do have a new pitcher in, Jaime Berea. And uh, he has a slider at 88, a four seam at 96, a two seam at 95, a circle change at 88. Now it's going to be Jake Fraley. Line drive, base hit, right center field. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Off the bat, it was the headed for the gap two. all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first... I thought actually it would get box. further, but Trout with it's that 90 speed cut it off pretty nicely. Nice liner into the gap right there. So they're at the corners now. And now, Tom Murphy. In the dirt, blocked. Don't want to advance all, and I'm fine just leaving him a second. That's a really quick reaction play right there on my part. Because i got to make sure that I have the correct player selected and the base I want him to go to correct. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. There's a strike, three and one. Runners on the corners, no outs. Nothing's been up in the zone, so I probably shouldn't be looking up here. The 3 1 in Fuck. for a strike, full count. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say, get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. 
tell you what, sometimes it's a tip cap. White in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next pitch misses way outside. So there's no reason for me to look up in the zone here. I'm really worried that we're going to end up hitting into a double play. But he's not throwing anything. Lifted in the air right center field. Trout is there. Puts the squeeze on that one. Yeah, there's two away. That actually would have been a run. Okay, cool. <laughs> Stepping in, now Sam Haggerty. Haggerty. The second baseman, Sam Haggerty. That's a bad swing. I can't be afraid to get cut down at home plate. I, I mean, down six or seven, excuse me. I got to be a little more aggressive. That one missed. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I so he hasn't. He didn't throw anything up high to any of the right-handed hitters. Now he's all high. Damn. And makes the play a little early on that circle three. change. I mean, probably should have at least tried to run in on that one. I mean, it's easy when you look at it and you go, "Oh, we threw it way up the line." You know, it's it's a pretty easy score. But I mean, we've been we've been quieted today. Five hits total. One, maybe two walks somewhere in there. We'll go ahead and throw in Justin Dunn. For the Mariners, Justin Dunn. Not really worried about the. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. The next pitch misses. I just. That's ball one. Straighten him up a little bit. I feel like I'm making the correct. I'm. Now a screamer into the outfield. Fraley pulls it down, and there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those whoop hits to get a knock sometimes. Ward, adding with one down, takes a strike. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. This feels like uh, the kind of game we have every once in a while. Um, just right not, I mean, not a lot of base runners to drive in. Obviously, a missed opportunity there with uh, that last situation with two on runners on the corners. Minimal outs. That's a frustrating miss. But at the same time, we have also haven't had a ton of run, run, ton of runners on the base anyway. And defensively, we've struggled more than we have offensively personally we've had a lot of hits like taken away and stuff like that but we're giving up some home runs here later in the game just not keeping ourselves in it we did a good i did a good job we got a home run from dom t williams we got the got the run that made it three two at the time but then it's just been been a nightmare since Weird that it's getting so far, and then it's like that's where it's two outs, and now the hmm. count is even. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Well, Justin Dunn that comes in, frame. shuts him down. Go that's there, pretty all right. We've given up 15 to... hits. I mean, that's a lot. We play. You know, we, I play that kind of defense that is very much we got to we got to get a lot of bounces to go our way. It's not always the easiest for us to survive a barrage of hits like that. And this one, especially in that first inning, was just a lot of stuff that we weren't able to uh, weren't able to get to. And I don't know. Seems also, like first games of series we have really struggled right with, and wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And here is Kyle Lewis. First offering misses the mark. Thompson Williams aboard here at first with nobody out. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat.
righty to the play. That one clips Ooh, the outside corner, damn. and it's two and one. And he's going back. He's going back to the low portion here. I don't know if it's because there's a runner on or if it's a right-handed hitter. That was a bad swing. Good slider. I wasn't looking for it. I thought, thought we see a fastball. Got to be wary of the, the slider here or just something like in the dirt. <sighs> Fuck. I said it out loud, and I just... So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next one misses, and it's two and one. And that's just foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Right-handed reliever. And now it's filled up. Oh, damn. Two. Over to Fletcher. And it's a double play to end the inning. Yeah, bad swing there. Oops. I actually did want to change pitchers there. I hit the wrong button. You're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. New pitcher now, Anthony Masevich. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. Yeah, he's, he's had longer than the last five days off. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> I brought him in because we're like we're out of this game. We've been out of this game for a while. Number five. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one misses in the dirt. Next pitch inside, and a count two and one. Swings and misses. It's two and two. And that one fouled off. Got him Ooh, got him looking. A little surprised with how bad that angle was. Mike Trout, the next to him for the Angels. Mike First offering and it, it just missed. Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> the one one. And now one and two. They don't even have to bring in a closer, they just have to bring in some guy. Right side. And that's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Come on, with two strikes and two outs, the fucking game, just stop. Didn't give in. Great approach on a nice pitch, dropped the barrel on it, stayed on plane, completely through the swing. A little surprised to see Otani so ahead of that one. Gotta have to tip your cap if you're on the mound on that one. Next offering upstairs. Trap off of first with Jewel A. That was a really swings through that. Wow, thank God. That was a terrible fastball. I fucking don't even get it. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand why the, the fastball has been such a problem for me. Oh, I see why it's getting so warm in here. I stacked a bunch of bags in front of the thing. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Taken high in the draft, that's he's had that top prospect label hey. over him since he put on a professional Oh, that's better. That's better. Hey, turns out if you don't block the... You produce at the big league level. In for a strike. If you don't block the the vent, it won't get so hot over here. I didn't realize that those bags were in the way. Whoopsie daisy. Next pitch, not close, up high.
popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. The third base and stepping in for the Mariners. Abraham Toro. Toro. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Damn. That's one I should have uh, should have gotten on top of. And there are two outs. One, two, and three runs in the fifth, now sixth, and seventh. Jake Fraley. On the ground, right side. Throw to first. Okay. We uh, got off to a really bad start here against Los Angeles. I am very worried as we continue to roll through this series if we cannot get these guys out. I think we'll get like a Robbie Ray and a. Um, Who's the other? There's another pitcher on my staff that's doing like surprisingly well. 16 hits given up. We gave up three in the first, um, and then one, two, and three for the, like I said, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Scored a couple of runs. Thought we'd be able to pepper in some more. We had some hits taken away, some nice defensive plays, uh, and I just couldn't steer the baseball away from anybody. We gave up some home runs. It was, uh, it was honestly kind of a mess from a defensive perspective. And I, I didn't feel like I was pitching that poorly, but I think when you get through the, um, when you go through the lineup so early, it just causes problems. I maybe should have pulled him and threw in another starter, but uh, who knows? I mean, Dom T. Williams had a whole third of our hits. Dom T. Williams and Jake Fraley had two thirds of the hits on our team. Um, two for four with a home run for Dom T. Williams. He helped us out in that first inning, getting that, uh, getting that run for us. Jake Fraley was two for three. He knocked in a ribby. Uh, Abraham Toro and Sam Haggerty one for three and 0 for three with a walk respectively. So a couple of extra base runners there. Yeah, I, oof, not, not great. Sheffield's going to get the loss. He gets tagged for six earned in six innings pitched 12 hits, one strikeout, no walks. And interestingly enough, Jaime Berea is going to get a save. Weird. Okay. Shohei Otani is your player of the game. He was three for five with a home run. Three ribbies scored twice. Walsh was two for four with a home run. Two ribbies. He scored twice as well. Trout was three for five with a double. Uh, and he scored twice. Steph Michael Stefanik, one for three, and he had a solo home run on that. Griffin Canning gets the win. Six innings pitch, three hits, three strikeouts, three walks, two earned. And the Mariners fall in another series opener. So hopefully we can uh, we can turn it around. We've been losing though we have been losing series openers. We have been able to get the last couple of uh, games from those teams, with the exception of the Minnesota series. It was a little weird. The, but look at the you know the Boston series. We lost that first game. We won the next two. The Houston series. We lost that first game. Won the next two. Um, yeah. I don't know. That one's just kind of one of those games. I guess if we did. I didn't feel like I was pitching that poorly. Um, like I was saying, I kind of, uh, we went through the lineup pretty early in that one. So I do think that that has something to do with it where they get a real beat on you early. Probably should have made some more pitching changes. Didn't want to damage the bullpen too much. Um, last time, uh, for the rest of the series, sorry, I hate this fucking talking so hard to think when someone's just gabbing in your ear. Um, and I can't unplug my, ugh. My frustration's coming out of the incorrect, the incorrect spot. Um, I didn't want to damage the bullpen too much. We still have three games left. Probably should have executed on my idea of just putting in another starter that was good enough to go because uh, we have the 20th off and then we could get back to the regular rotation in Oakland. We see seven of the next 10 games against the Los Angeles Angels, and I don't like that. Whew. Hopefully we can improve and uh, take game number two. Even up this series, we were supposed to open an upper deck pack of cards, but I didn't even show it. Um, those will go back in the bin. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at 7, 10 p.m. Uh, 7 Pacific time. 7 p.m. Pacific time right here on YouTube.com slash Shaunasaurus Rex. Robbie Ray, 9 and 2 with a 2 one two ERA. Taking on Shohei Otani. My fucking nightmare pitcher. Nightmare pitcher. His stuff, I fucking hate it. 
It is like a 90 some odd mile an hour fastball. And his second pitch is a, like a curveball or a sweeping curve or something. That's like 75. It's going to give me nightmares. I'm not looking forward to it. He is five and four with a three, two, seven ERS. We'll see him tomorrow. A uh, good matchup here as the Christmas color series continues right here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to scroll down, subscribe, comment for the algorithm, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We got blown out today, but we can make a valiant effort and try and get some, uh, try and get a comeback tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Good sports. Go Mariners.